สวัสดีครับกำลังเตรียมความพร้อมเตรียมตัวอยู่วันนี้ได้มาคุยกับตั้นแล้วBangsen Grand Prix is winding to a close now. It's been a pretty crazy time, pretty exciting time. It's been great to be back here. I stood right pretty much in this spot about four to five days ago when I made a preview on the Tuesday, the first day when the paddock was filling up before everything started. Now there's no other place really if you want to stand and talk about Bangsen than stand on the beach. So I've come back. I stood here in the preview, I need to do it all over again, stand here to make a report. So basically this video, I'm just going to go over what's been happening in the last four or five days in Bang Sen, not reports, not results, that sort of thing, because it doesn't really matter in Bang Sen, you just come here, for, unless you're a driver, unless you're a team owner, you just come here for the atmosphere. So over the past four or five days, I've just wandered around the paddock, I've talked to people, looked what's going on, what's new, spoke to the organizers. I'm going to put this all on the video, let you have a look, get the feel, get the flavor, what the 14th edition Bang Sen 2022 was all about. ในวันนี้เนี่ยพี่เอ่อเป็นการกลับมาของบางแสนกรังปรีหลังจากที่เราเว้นว่างมาอ่าถึง 2 อ่าสนุกสนานท้าทายในทุกๆรุ่นนะครับมีความสนุกสนานนะครับต้องขอบคุณทุกฝ่ายที่มีส่วนเกี่ยวข้องโดยเฉพาะชุมชนผู้ประ
fixing cars like yeah so in a way because you've come straight from karting karting you don't have a lot of runoff you have a lot of barriers it's a bit similar does that kind of help you with your mentality and your preparation yes that help a lot because like when i go to like every other place to like drive like new tracks like karting is like there's only like a wall to it so like i didn't scare of the wall like everybody else like that much Right, well, thank you very much for stopping to talk to me. I'm just kind of amazed. I'm still shocked that you put it on pole position today. So anyway, 14 years old, youngest ever driver at Bang Sen. There's no international series here this year because due to COVID, they can't come basically. We've got the basic TSS and Toyota Motorsport program filling up the program and really everything's full. There's a lot of cars here. It's banging and booming. But we do have one new category and you can see behind me these Yaris one make race cars and you can see the Yaris here on the sign. And that's because Toyota have introduced the Yaris into their motorsport series this year as the very entry level, the grassroots, the way you step into Toyota Motorsport. So Yaris is back, it's been 10 years out of the series and to be honest this is quite an older car as well, it's been around for pretty much a decade but Toyota have decided to bring it into the series as their stepping stone into Toyota Motorsport. And if you stay tuned to my videos, I'm going to run right through, walk right through the new Yaris One Make race car in a couple of weeks' time. I'm going to make a video exclusively on that. So stay tuned to my videos, subscribe, and I'll bring you the Yaris One Make car in detail, go through everything about it. <laughs> It's nice to meet you. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hello, my name is Motanoi. Cool. <laughs> and you enjoying being at the beach in Bang Sen? Yes, I love it. And why are you here this week? Here? Oh, because I like to 
beach and today I see have a car show so I come here and take picture and relax. Perfect, thank you very much. Best bit of my video done. It's going to be no more girls like this on the rest of it just to warn you. Nice to meet you, thank you very much. I'm with Kumbam here. Is she a new driver for Be Quick? Is she a future star with this team? So what are we going to do today is we're going to introduce her to the car. Jules, technical manager for Be Quick Racing, is going to show around the cockpit, get us to get a feel. Stage one. Stay tuned. <laughs> Time to check out the car. Over to you, Jules. Okay. So, jump inside. Oh. <laughs> first. Okay. And slide inside. Yep. Okay. Let's go. The bell first. The middle one. Mm. Give up. Okay. Don't lock things. Okay. So basically, you have two pedals. Mm -hmm. One brakes, one throttle. The clutch is on the steering, left or right. The gears, they have no lever, so it's on the steering also. Upshift, upshift on the right, downshift on the left side. To put the engine on, you need to press the main switch on here. Then the ignition, you press the brake. Press, press, press. And then we can start. Wow, this is the first time of me. But I want to be a man, 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 absolutely. แล้วก็คันนี้เป็นคันไฮไลท์ด้วยซึ่งซีโอของเราค่ะทำการขับเพราะฉะนั้นเรารอบบ่าย 3-40 กับงานนะคะบางแสนแกรนด์พิก2022ฝากเป็นกำลังใจแล้วก็ช่วงช่วยเชียร์นะคะกับทีมนะคะ Be Quick Absolute Racing กันด้วยยังไงก็มีทั้งหมดถึง4คัน25 26 27และหมายเลขค่าชิพากับทีม Be Quick Absolute Racing ค่ะ Good luck to you for the race Okay bye Go 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 Be Quick Be Quick Be Quick Be Quick we win, we win! Yo, yo, yo! I will all be quick with the last week. Let's go! Whoa. Jules, is she ready to race? For sure. You ready to race? Yes, sure! Go, go, go! Yay. go, go. and Grand Prix is very different this year. It's a different approach, it's a different attitude of the car. You've got to be a lot more careful on the entry and you can get harder on it on the exit. So everybody is relearning turn 10. Right, we 
have a new driver this week and he doesn't need any introduction. Pierre Caffer is grade one A-list rock star racing driver, won everything, driven everywhere. This guy is the top. So we also know him as well because about four years ago he came and tested, well came and helped us with a test back with us. We have a saying at Be Quick Racing, once you join this family you never leave, people re reappear. So really what I don't want to talk about your career because everyone knows that. I want to talk about Bang Sen, your well first done. time on the track here, Good, your impressions you. and obviously you've raced at places like Macau, you've well, raced at the 24 event. which is obviously worse than a street circuit. Just kind of tell me about Bang Sen, how you rate it, what it's like please. Oh, I have to say this street circuit is uh, really awesome. It's uh, one of the unique challenging tracks which I have to say I can do a tick in my, in my career. Um, unfortunately here we have uh, very less uh, uh, driving time um, and as a driver uh, which you doesn't know the track obviously it's important to do a couple of laps and uh, until now I have done 11 time laps and tomorrow is qualifying so you can imagine um, there is plenty of room to improve and uh, from yesterday to today uh, we made a big progress on Sender and myself so we are working quite hard and uh, I'm uh, really happy to be uh, a part of the family of uh, Be Quick from Absolute Racing and I feel like in a family to be back in a family like you said before and the boys are, are really awesome. It's, uh, I'm really enjoying this weekend so far. So you're racing in endurance, in the eco, and in the Altis. So you've already been out in track in all three classes, debut in Bang Sen. How is it going and what's the track like? What's your impressions of the track? Well, um, I really enjoy the track. It's really twisty and you have to maintain your speed. It's really important with the hills and stuff that every, every tiny detail really matters about um, how fast you go. Um, in the endurance, our endurance, um, we had a bit of an accident in our second stint which took half an hour to fix. And then, so I had a fast stint and a, um, a slow stint where I had to keep the car from overheating and stuff. That was challenging. Hello. Um, and I had my qualifying for the Eco this morning and the Altis. Uh, um, I came fifth in the Eco and I'm starting second in the Altis. It's a really fun track. It's sometimes scary if you, if you focus on how fast the walls come up to you. At There's no room for error, but sometimes that's what makes it unique and fun and special. Bangsen Grand Prix is much more than just cars on the racetrack. It brings the whole car community, the whole car culture together into the town to come and enjoy the racing, to come and hang out in what's a really beautiful and popular seaside resort. So you can come and see the racing, you can come and enjoy the beach, you can come and enjoy seafood. And that's what these guys have done. Because this morning, it's Sunday morning, it's about eight o'clock. We've got all these cars have come in, hang out, Enjoy the seafood. So anyway, before I finish this, let me just introduce these guys because these guys are from the 831 Sephiro Rayong Chambury Club. Conest, the organizer here. This race car here, this actually races in the Toyo series. So while Bang Sen is top of the pyramid in Thailand, Toyo is the entry level to the pyramid. And this car races here. And the owner who's right here next to me, Kun Dong, he drives here Sunday morning. Next weekend, he's racing in Gang Kachan. And that's what I love. Drive your car to Bang Sen for cars and coffee one Sunday. Next week, you're in Gang Kachan on circuit racing. This car here, 
you'll know this if you watch my videos it's a mental crazy set for out the shark of Chambéry, Conbank who's well prepared here sitting down on a seat chilling out he's the owner of this car and one day I'm gonna make a video on this car because it's epic all the detail everything that's done so that's pretty much it I just wanted to really add into my video that the car culture of Thailand it drops into the Bang Seng Grand Prix and for the organizers for the municipality hopefully these guys are coming in spending money because that's really what Bang Sen is about bringing into the local community and certainly we're at a coffee shop this morning and I'm buying coffee conveyor belt style so yeah we're ticking off that box as well I've been around the paddock this week, talked to an awful lot of people, but there's one person I really need to talk to here before I finish. This guy, Hen Kicks, he's also my boss. He's the owner of Be Quick Racing, Be Quick Company. Henk, thanks for your time. So the first thing I want to say is, Be Quick Racing has gone mental. It's gone huge. It's gone crazy. What's happened? Where's it going? No, I think, I think if you talk about pure about the racing, I mean, most people know we got two programs. Mm. Uh, we have the GT3, GT4 program, which is Be Quick Absolute Racing, which is like professional level of racing. We have Be Quick Racing, where we run all the smaller cars for the employee programs, for the junior programs, and all that. So combined, that is a big operation. Uh, yeah, where is it going? I don't know. I mean, you look at Thailand racing, you look at racing in Southeast Asia. Uh, there's GT World Challenge, and then there's nothing. So, I mean, I think Thailand and, and Thailand Super Series really has a place in this market where uh, we're, only, we're only touching the beginnings. I mean, I think there's a lot of people who want to race, not in a strict environment in terms of, I mean, high level, high pressure GT World Challenge, but more like a bit more fun, a bit more relaxed, and, but still high level racing. And we have a lot of international interest. People say, hey, what, what do we need to do? How can we race in Thailand? What do we need to bring? How can we do that? And we obviously we fill a big chunk of that gap in that market with, uh, with, with our team and with the services we provide in terms of cars and running cars and, and, and uh, allowing for arrive and drive programs for people who want to do that. Uh, so yeah, this weekend we ended up with, uh, with four GT3 cars, Audi R8 GT3, all upgraded to Evo 2, latest specification. We're running, well actually we're running one Cayman GT4 under our own colors. We got another GT4 under some other, somebody else. Uh, that's on the GT level and, uh, and a nice bunch of drivers, right? I mean, we have Sandy, who is our two-time champion, of course, who is now paired up with Akash from Malaysia. It looks a very quick combination. We got Daniel together with Philip. I mean, two, M two M's which are really on it. That's really cool. We got Vincent from the Philippines together with, uh, with Pierre. Of course, I mean, that guy won the Nürburgring 24 hours. He won Spa 24. He, he won Le Mans. I mean, and it's nice to have people like that in the team. And then myself, I'm racing with Ishan uh, from, uh, from Sri Lanka, nice guy, very quick also. So, it's, I mean, all the ingredients are there to, uh, to have fun and to have a good show. Well, the second thing I want to say is there's a lot of corporate here. Be Quick Company is really locked into this. We've got this obviously here next door, you've got corporate hospitality, you've got the booze out there. How is that all working? Yeah, well, basically there are two different things. I mean, there's Be Quick Racing, which is on its own, which is just providing race car racing services and of course I mean I'm driving that because I love doing that and then there's Be Quick and that is also the difference because people say like oh your race team is sponsoring Thailand Super Series. no they're not Be Quick is a sponsor of Be Quick Racing which is just the racing part and the junior program and all that and then Be Quick company is a sponsor of Thailand Super Series but that's a different picture different level in terms of uh, what Be Quick really is looking for is uh, to contribute something towards automotive and motorsport and all those kind of things. We do that internal, but we think in Thailand with the current situation we need to start doing that external also. I think Thailand needs motorsport to be leveled up and uh, Be Quick Racing wants to play a part in that, but I think Be Quick can play a part in that also. We're after all the biggest automotive repair business in Thailand and we service 1.5 million vehicles every year. And people don't, not everybody realizes that. So I mean, there's a massive reach and a massive group of young people and people involved in 
automotive and we, we need to carry that up to the next level. Well, one of my go-tos when I'm making videos about Bang Sen is Simon, the track designer. So I've caught up with him again. And what I want to talk about this time is really how this circuit has changed in terms of access and, and for the residents, keeping the community moving as much as they can. There's bridges everywhere, there's residence access roads, and this year we have more residence access roads. Other ones have been extended, the one to the Bang Sen Villa. The one up by Chariot is new. So really, you're putting a lot of focus on the residents, making it easier for them. That's obviously part of your strategy. So I just want you to talk a little bit about this. Yeah, for sure, Ed. I mean, I, I think one of the things with street races is if you don't look after the residents, then you know the longevity is definitely affected. I mean, people do budgets and they um, work out the business plan for things like street races and uh, and that's whilst that's tough that's kind of the easy part the difficult part is that you know you're going to disrupt traffic you need to and it's not just the three or five days of the race it's the fact that you need to build the track before you start and uh, to be honest here in Bang Sand they've always had a, a very high focus on residents there's a lot of openings for them to get in and out but every year they've always looked for different ways and uh, in, you know, substantially uh, in 2019 we, uh, we introduced um, an, an additional access for people that, that can't get over bridges and straight to their houses uh, between turn 10 and 12. And then uh, in 2020 we had planned to introduce a new one from turn 10 backwards to turn 9 which allowed parking for residents and also for access to Bang San Villa and the, and the restaurant that's opposite. Uh, but of course the, ra the race was affected by COVID, so this is effectively the first race we've had that. And then uh, in planning for this year, we looked at the long stretch, which we talked about the other day, that uh, runs down past the Chariot and Jones Cellar and the commercial properties and a couple of residential properties there as well. It runs from turn seven down to turn eight and created a service road there as well. So I think, uh, you know, here there's a pretty good feeling with the residents, to yeah. be honest. They're, a lot of them are now motorsport fans. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, there's community planned openings. We have breaks during the day. One of the uh, really cool things yesterday, I must admit, when we're closing the track down in the morning was watching the guys go to many of the residents' houses and actually make sure that they know who's going to leave for the day for work and they wait to close that barrier. And, you know, it's, it's quite, there's a great synergy there between the residents and, and the people building the track. And then, while I'm here, while I've got you here, three years away, track come together. Has it all come together the way you wanted it? It's all running pretty smoothly. Yeah, look, I have to say, this year's lead up in the track build was not only, uh, not only surprising with a three year break, but it's definitely the best quality that we've built the track to. Uh, probably the only thing that was difficult was that being sharp on the, on the closing on that first day because there's so much work on the first day, which is always a challenge. After you close it the first day, you, you have less week work each morning. But yeah, I, I look, in all honesty, I couldn't be happier. Of course, like any street race, a few unforeseen things come out and jump at you, especially on the first day. But you know, as I look at the track right now, it's fantastic. Today, I think, was the most incident-free day in all my time now, and I've been coming to this, I first looked at it in 2014, I've been on the event since 2015. It's the most incident-free day we've had, and for a qualifying day where everyone's pushing it a bit, that's a, that's a big thing to say. I found someone in the paddock, Weir on Tan. He's the official representative of Aston Martin Racing in Asia. So I just want to ask you, just give us some, what you think of Bang Sen, what, what's your feeling here, what you're doing here, if you can say any of that, please. 
Absolutely. I mean, I've been around the paddock for God knows how long, and uh, it's actually my first time here in Bangsan. So you know, really, really cool atmosphere. And when you know, when people are telling me that the paddock is actually right next to the beach, I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. But it's you know, I never thought it was like in, in literal meaning, it's literally right next to the beach. And I think that's something no other racetrack in the world can offer. Um, and in terms of atmosphere, it's fantastic. Um, the people here just you know, so immersed in in, in, in the whole uh, the the whole event. Um, it's a fantastic event. I think they've done a really good job. And obviously, it is also our intention um, to enter cars into the Thai Super Series, something that we've been looking for uh, in a very long time. And hopefully, we can make that happen. Well, thank you for thank you for your time. I'm a fan of the Aston Martin brand and the GT3, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. So hopefully, we'll talk again in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, I've just grabbed another legend and this guy was running past and this if you know this guy you either see him in the race car or you see him out on the track running I caught him running it's not unusual at all so anyway tree you enjoying being back in Bang Sen yeah I mean the weather's really nice last the last time we had Bang Sen here we had a big storm you remember you know but this year we had a lot of sun and a lot of wind but um, yeah, it's really relaxing. You know, there's nowhere else in the world where you have a racetrack by the sea like this. So yeah, really enjoying it. Well, you've got you won here twice at least in Super 2000 on your way to the championship. You've got a pretty good record here, and I hear as well that you broke the track record for touring cars today. You're starting on pole position for the races. So just gives a little bit about what you're doing this year. Okay, well, I'm driving for Singer Motorsport um, in the Honda Civic FK, which is in the touring car category. It's a 1.5 turbo engine. Um, unfortunately, not many other cars at the moment for this year, but I think it's coming up. And uh, we're running together with the Supercar GTC. AAS is one of the real big stakeholders in Thai motorsport. So we'll keep this short, Peter. I just want to ask you what's going on this week. Well, uh, happy to be here again after the, the layoff because of COVID and uh, happy to run two cars here, our 991 Cup car and uh, a newcomer, our Formula 4 Spain driver, the son of Kun Vutikon, Kun Tassanapon, Kun Tan, racing here, they came in for the first time, and as you've seen yesterday, uh, amazing job, great performance, perfect timing, so I'm looking forward to another one today. Right, okay, perfect, just one more question, I mean it's a pretty obvious question, but you guys love Bang Sen, you love racing here. Well, we are here since day one. And we always enjoyed racing here and we will be back again next year for sure. And we will look at what's coming up on the Porsche new cars to show you some more exciting cars next year for sure.
This has got to be the ugliest backdrop on my whole video and the reason why I'm sitting by this is I wanted to address taking photos because so many people ask me about shooting this track, what's it like, where do you go, where are the vantage points. So this is one of the vantage points. This is the big old condominium building on the inside of turn 17. You come up here, it's 14 stories, then you come to the top floor and you climb up to the roof. And it's a fantastic view. You can actually get a glimpse of the cars at the roundabouts, but unless you've got a longer lens than I have, you're not going to shoot that. But you can see them from turn 15 through turn 16, and then all the way down the straight through the high speed king turn 17, down to turn 18 where they turn left and go out of sight behind the S2 hotel at Pit Inn, at the Hairpin. And this is one of the vantage points you can shoot right down, you can use 200 and get the cars close, you can use a wide angle, you can get all the panorama of the sea, there's a couple of swimming pools, there's kind of all the urban sprawl of a Thai village there that you can drop into the frame to make cool photos. And Bang Sen is like that to shoot, there's all sorts of different types of locations and really when people say to me where to go, what to do, I say the best thing to do is just get out out there walk around hunt it down because this is a very organic circuit one year you go somewhere the next year they built a living coffee shop over it or they built fencing or they built a firewall or there's a marshal post it changes every year and over the years safety has got more and more tough so where it could shoot years and years ago and was easy now they don't let you go there or the marshal say no way and the respect to the organizer i'm not complaining they need to keep safety as a priority and a lot of photographers who come here they're not used to race cars they're not used to the speed and the momentum and the dynamics they're shooting you know magazines and coffee shops and things so it has to apply to everyone and so they've cut down an awful lot of places where you can't stand and that's because you know they want to make this a world-class safe track and it's not just cars and drivers and spectators photographers they don't want them to get killed everyone they want to have a safe time so over the years yeah it's got a lot harder and another problem with this track is there's no fence holes for shooting unlike pretty much any other track in the world even Macau even um, Buri Ram, there's no fence holes here so that makes it more difficult but you've kind of got to look around like I say it changes every year the best thing if you come here and you want to photograph for fun just get out there walk around the track it's not very long it's only 3.7 kilometers you can squeeze your way around most of the track and you can find the spaces you can find the right holes the places to shoot from so really you just want to get out there explore the track it's fun exploring it i've been coming here for i think 12 editions now there's been 14 i didn't come to the first two so i think 12 12 editions over 14 years i've been coming to maybe 11. and i'm still learning little places i'm still hunting down new places to shoot and new spots and that's what this track's like you're never going to run out of spots if you go to buriram you learn it all in a couple of hours there's nothing more to it. You go to say Pang, again, it's a bit bigger, but you learn it all quickly. But this track, you never run out of opportunities. You never run out of opportunities to like blend the DNA of the town, this fishing village, the chaos, the craziness, the disorganization of these little streets, people's shops, everything. You can always find a way of squeezing it in, making new stuff. The track gets a bit bumpy in some areas, some years so again you find it's more bumpy and you can get the cars bouncing better on low fuel loads so it's kind of pretty cool really I enjoy walking around it's very hot I suggest you wrap up I suggest you bring loads of water with you as well because you'll dehydrate here but again because it's street circuit you can always find 7-elevens or family marts or whatever you can find somewhere to top up
to be back here again in Bangsan after three years in a row that we never have an event like this year. The atmosphere is very very good and for me my racing car is gonna be good for this weekend. Also my supercar team is quite a little bit have some problem but we fix it already and we bring a safety car here from the Liberty Wall. We bring a Supra here to be the safety car. Suspension is something that is really important on race cars and it's something I never talk about or make videos about at all. So I'm going to fix that today because I'm with Remy, he's product specialist for Olin's Asia and basically what he told me before, he bridges the gap between sales and R&D. So he's the man to talk to about suspension and we're in Bang Sen where suspension is absolutely vital. So, first thing I want to ask you, Remy, is Bang Sen, suspension, how do you go about it? How do you go about setting up cars here? And how does getting it bang on be really important to setting a lap time? Yeah, so like you said, suspension is very important because it's clearly what will make the power uh, from the car to transmit it directly to the ground. So it's what will make your car very efficient on the track. And it's very difficult here in Bonsen because it's a street circuit, very bumpy. So it's even more important here to really absorb the bump, keep the balance of the car and transmit the power from the, from the engine to the tire directly to the ground. So how we work, it's a lot of uh, kind of uh, experience from the previous years, uh, discussion and briefing with the drivers. And also, when it's possible on some cars, like the GT that we have here, we also look at the data and to really try to find the, the best setup as possible to, uh, to make it happen. You seem to have your finger in a lot of pies in the paddock these days with the team I work for, with Be Quick. Obviously, we're all running on Olin's, upgraded this year. You're with YK, which is a big team with a lot of different categories with Vatanar Motorsport and you're also staying in the truck category. So why is everyone moving on to Olin's basically? Uh, what we try to do, like you said, it's to try to be involved with the most categories as possible. So especially with YK, it's our uh, partner on the motorsport, exclusive partner. We try to adapt the suspension that are developed for uh, European cars, like you can have on the big quick cars, for example, suitable for uh, more popular cars here in Thailand. So the collaboration with YK, it's both on development of new products, which bring us on the touring cars or pickup trucks here, famous in Thailand. And yeah, the idea is really to, to try to propose a performance suspension to more popular team to make it affordable and uh, accessible to, uh, to, to everybody, I would say. The last thing I want to really mention is, because it's three years since we came here last, we're kind of missing a few people, and I just want to remember them as well. I mean, the first one I want to mention is Kun Luk Nam. Now, he is like the voice of Thai Motorsport. Every single edition of Bang Sen up to now, you walked around the paddock, you walked around the track, you heard his voice all day long all morning all afternoon till the engine stopped you would hear his voice around Bang Sen and he's a gap that's missing so just kind of remember that and I think quite a few other people remembering that and then another person is Con Hinspeed 
He was also right at the heart of it, at the heart of the scrutineering, engineering cars, engineering teams, that sort of thing. He's another person who was a core part of the sport, and sadly he's gone as well. AJ, who is a mechanic with Hinspeed, with other teams, he was part of the furniture. We've lost him since the last Grand Prix. And another person who's gone was Ong, Ong Nitto, and he was also part of the furniture. A real character, always had the pretties that stood out. So these are people who were part of the sport and although we're all back here, we're happy to be back, we're enjoying it. I just want to stop for 30 seconds just to remember these people and just to dedicate this video to the people who are gone, who are not with us anymore. Okay, that's it. I am finished with Bang Sen. The last thing I just want to say though is a big thank you to the organizers, to Thailand Super Series, to Racing Spirit, Kun Sontia, Kun Prida, Simon, all the stakeholders, all the people who put this together because they have done a fantastic job as usual. This event has been amazing and it's really all these stakeholders and Bang Sen Municipality, Chambury, TAT, all these people who come together to make this event what it is. So for all the people who put this together, I just want to finally say big thank you for what you've done, for making this a great, fantastic event, and I'll see you next year at the 15th edition.